ladies and gentlemen. Bulavinaka and a very, very good afternoon to all of you. You know, on my way here, I was uh, just sent a little clip that I had done in Los Angeles just a little while ago. It was an interview with uh, uh, on, on media. And I was asked a question about what would be some of the uh, best places or favorite places in Fiji for people to do something. I wish I'd been here before I did that interview. Because this is a truly, truly a wonderful place to be. And I take my hat off to uh, uh, Daniela and, and his wife for, and for the community for venturing into, into this particular uh, venture today. I want to thank you also for the very warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll admit this is the first time I'm visiting uh, Namosi Eco Retreat. And I can, see, I can see why you are fast becoming one of Fiji's most treasured tourism products. And I'm not saying that lightly. It truly is. And so it really is an absolute pleasure to be here today and to be a part of another step in your business as you, upon, uh, as you open the, uh, the new refurbished uh, Namosi Eco Retreat Bure. Uh, this ecotourism venture, ladies and gentlemen, will provide an additional avenue and income for, for the people of Nabunikambi village here in Namosi. And, uh, this particular eco-retreat, as you all know, is a digital detox for all of us, giving guests a break from mobile phones and from the internet and, and electricity access sometimes also. But this beautiful environment and hospitality helps people rejuvenate and also recharge before heading back to their hectic lives. I can see the advantage of our young visitors here also that you can actually go back and tell people how wonderful it is here and, 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 and make sure that you send more and more people to this beautiful place. We should value this offering, ladies and gentlemen, and ensure that this is not exploited. And we must remember that we cannot exploit it. We must nurture it and we must also, there's a, there's a point of difference in these, this kind of tourism. We must make sure that we don't damage the environment that we're actually in, because that's the most precious thing that we have. This particular eco-retreat attracts guests from as far as Europe and other parts of the Oceania for those who want a chance to reconnect with nature and escape the, the, the chains of work emails, etc. And I'd like to thank everyone here who was involved in rebuilding this facility. I personally want to acknowledge the ladies who helped move the materials. Yes, the ladies who helped move the materials, which included gravel and cement and timber and etc. across the river. We have a very, very resilient people here in the village. And this is a, a true and a great example of how our community spirit can be used for the greater good. Tourism experiences like this particular Namosi Eco Retreat are, are what positions Fiji more uniquely in the world. And from January this year, ladies and gentlemen, we've recovered about 60% of the pre-COVID pre visitor arrivals, and this shows that we have achieved 70% of visitor arrival target for, for, for the year, which is about 55% of the 2019 arrivals. So if we look at our value, the tourism earnings for the first half of the year it stood at about $446.9 million. So we have also recovered 50% of tourism revenue. And all of this is part of all of that. What this essentially means, ladies and gentlemen, is that we need to be ready to receive tourists. And given our expected arrivals, we must find a way to bring them outside the Denera. We must find a way to bring them outside of Nandi, bring them outside of Singapore, bring them to see the the real Fiji and experience what we do on a daily basis, what you do on a daily basis. And that way, ladies and gentlemen, we spread the tourism dollar. You know, it doesn't matter that you have to travel by road to come here. It's a fantastic experience. It doesn't matter that you have to cross the river by foot or by a small boat to come here. It's all part of that wonderful experience that these wonderful young people can go back and share. Because a lot of the world forgets about all of this. The facilities like this Namosi Eco Retreat offer something different and it's a unique experience and it provides guests with an authentic experience. 
combining some culture and also with adventure and also with ecotourism, which is such an important part of our tourism. The refurbished section, from what I understand, continues uh, uh, the traditional village. We've got ten bures in a large dining hall in the Valnikana, and the whole all handcrafted by local people by using Fijian building materials and methods. And this is why we as government have invested in this venture. It actually adds to the value to our basket of things to do in Fiji. We get asked all the time, what can you do in Fiji? You can go shark dive, you can swim with a manta ray. Now we have this, which is a wonderful experience, a unique experience. We wanted you also to be ready to accept tourists once the borders opened up. So this is why the assistance. The Fijian retreat team takes pride in, in educating people about their culture and sharing their traditional and modern cuisine and farming lifestyles. We are confident that you'll be able to sustain yourselves in the long term. We know that you will look after visitors well and offer them a true Fijian experience. And I also understand that we have a quite a substantial amount of local tourists that actually come here, our local people who, who want to experience this. This is why we've invested in the project and to restart and kickstart your operations. That is where the grant support of 24,000 through the Integrated Human Resources Department uh, Development Program is important. You're a, you are an MSME and that to us is important, to my ministry is massively important. The Fijian government, ladies and gentlemen, believes that the best and the most effective way to economically empower the rural communities is to identify what they do best and to provide them with the necessary support to achieve that particular vision. I'd like to remind in the Mosi Eco Retreat and also the community at large that you need to take full ownership of the business and ensure that it flourishes and it grows. I will do my part but you must always do your part. If I travel, I will tell people about th this is the kind of place that we have that you can actually visit and, and experience our different cultures, etc. I will do so. Well, that I promise you. It's, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't, I wasn't able to see this before I went, but I would have said it in the interview, most definitely after having traveled uh, uh, through here. Furthermore, I think, ladies and gentlemen, you need to make sure you look after the boys and maintain them. And I encourage you all to work hard and, and continue and work hard and with pride and continue to press it on, press on into the future and, and see how bigger and better that you can get. There are many things that you can do through this particular project. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, lastly, I'm very proud to be here as a Fijian. When I see this, when I see this, I, I, I think so many good things about how resilient we are, how good we are. A word of warning, beware, we're approaching our cyclone season, so batten down also. Um, I'm, as on my way here, I saw the two mountains, I had to drive through the two mountains, and I said, you know, they're, they're, they're protected. <laughs> but uh, please be careful also about, uh, about everything around you, and our most important thing, climate change is our most important thing to us, and we must remember that we must keep our environment healthy and clean, and for the future generations also to enjoy what we enjoy on a daily basis. We take many things for granted in our lives. Let's not take what we have for granted, you know? And uh, the cleanliness of the river is absolutely amazing. There's not a drop of anything in there that I've just seen today. And that's just a phenomenal, phenomenal thing to see. And I'm sure this is uh, the same sentiments will be echoed by our, our visitors here from I'm not sure you're from America or Australia. From the States? Well, welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And um, with those few words, it gives me great pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to officially declare the refurbished Namosi Echo Retreat open. In our level, God bless all of you. Okay. Let's 
Lange Mickey!